Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's Monday, March 24th, 2014, and here are our top stories. Tonight, UK hospitals find a better use for unborn children rather than let them live to become adults. Then, Mexican drug cartels made recruits eat children's hearts in initiation rites. And... A homeland security exercise targets free Americans against socialist tyranny. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Well, abortion has long been called a holocaust because of the number of children that have died since Roe v. Wade. 54 million. But now children are literally being passed through the furnace in order to fuel hospitals in the UK. Aborted babies are being burned to power hospitals in the UK. Ten NHS trusts, that's their government health care system, have admitted burning fetal remains alongside other rubbish, while two others use the bodies in waste to energy plants, which regenerate plant power for heat. Now, this is coming from the UK Telegraph. They said that over 15,000 babies have been used this way. Is it really any surprise? If you're going to have a situation where you've got an abortionist who is chopping the baby up into pieces, or as I pointed out here in Houston, you had staff workers at an abortion clinic talking about how the doctor was twisting heads off the babies. Is it any wonder that they would treat them with this kind of disrespect? But it's not just that. We see in comments from Twitter and on the posts, on the articles, we see that people are pointing, pushing back and saying, what's wrong with this? Look at these comments. In a world of too much waste, surely it's efficient and effective. Another one says, if the unwanted remains can be used for a worthwhile purpose like heat generation, then they should be. That's the essence of sustain sustainability. Unwanted medical waste, I don't get what the problem is. It's recycling. It's more economical than saying using nuclear power or electricity. And then this one sums it all up. Once people decide that unborn children are less than human, what do you expect? Exactly right. We literally see children being passed through the fire, as the Bible put it. They're being sacrificed on the altar of efficiency and prosperity. That's what's really going on here. Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children will do it to its senior citizens. It will do it to its dissidents. And that kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quislings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. But in the meantime, you can be applauded by the system. Look at this report from TPNN.com. They say that Nancy Pelosi is going to accept an award that's going to honor her in the name of the black-hating eugenicist Margaret Sanger. And here's this quote that they have in the article from Margaret Sanger. We should hire three or four colored ministers, preferably with social service backgrounds and engaging personalities. The most successful educational approach to the Negro is through this kind of appeal. We don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. And the minister is the one who can straighten out that idea if it ever occurs to any of them. And so we see possibly, as I point out in this article, formerly pro-life reverends like Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, Quislings in the concentration camp and the eugenicists. But we see that this award is being put out, of course, by Planned Parenthood is giving this award to Nancy Pelosi. The Margaret Sanger Award. You know, it's very sad to see Democrats, the Democrat Party, taking this as one of its fundamental planks of its party. This is not a civil liberties issue. The Libertarian Party needs to understand this as well. This is not civil liberties. Why aren't the Democrats so concerned about the NSA, about the surveillance state? No, they're not concerned about civil liberties, and this isn't civil liberties. This is genocide. This is eugenics. This is infanticide. It is not civil liberties. If you think this is something that is going to happen in the future, that the government is going to turn on its citizens, ruthlessly kill them for no reason at all, that's not the case. It's happening now. It's happening today. It's happening just this last weekend in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Look at this report from Alex Jones. James M. Boyd is dead. His crime? Sleeping behind a line of boulders 
at a state park outside Albuquerque, New Mexico. A group of heavily armed police with a German Shepherd attack dog came upon him and ordered him to walk down the hill. When he began to come down the hill, and we're going to go through the unedited footage, they release the police dog on him, throw a flashbang grenade at him, he turns to run, pulls something out of his pockets, and they shoot him in the back. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Now we pause the video there where the suspect, James Boyd, appears to be turning away from officers. And now, that's all the public has seen up until that point. The mainstream media stops the video right there when they pull the trigger and shoot him in the back. What comes next is the true horror. They allow the dog to chew and continue to bite on him. They step on his arms. They shoot him more with the beanbag guns, and it looks like they shoot him with a real firearm at least one more time. They then handcuff his dead body and hyperventilate acting like they're scared of him, and so it's okay what they've done. When you look at this in context, it's bad enough, but when you see all the other things they've done in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and gotten away with, like pepper spraying a woman's genitalia to, quote, punish her, or giving a man eight anal probes and enemas looking for illegal drugs they never found from a routine traffic stop you realize what a dangerous place Albuquerque is to visit. And then you find out there is a long train of very suspicious cases of police killing people and calling it suicide in Albuquerque and the surrounding counties. You realize this is another one of these boss hog kingdoms where the police know they're above the law. Watching the footage is extremely disturbing, and we're going to play it all unedited from end to end for you right now. This was shot from a gun camera that one of the police officers has. And when you see this man talking to them calmly, and seconds later he's dead, you realize how dangerous this militarization of police has become. The New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, they've all reported now on what I began warning you about 19 years ago the federalization and the militarization of police under the RAND Corporation National Stability Police Force Plan, which is designed to turn our country into a martial law system. If you were down at a bar or a, a bus stop, I have the right to kill you right now because you're trying to take me over. Don't get stupid with me. We're not going to get stupid. You said we were walking out of here and now you're, you're bringing up assault and everybody's going to get hurt again? All right, don't change up your agreement. I'm going to try to walk through it. All right. Love folks, try to arm them. If you were, I can keep you safe. All right? Don't worry about safety. I'm not a fucking murderer. All right? Try. Try to harm them. Try to harm you. All right? Do it. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't make fun Moving up. Get your hands up. Still got the knives Ooh, in his hand. Still got the knives in his hand. Still got the knives in his hand. Stepping up behind you. You moving? Don't hurt me. His hands Get still, still armed. Yep. Get, move. Get your hands out. Get Drop your hands up. Green back. Right behind you. Put your hands out to your side and drop the knife. Hands out to your side. Beanbag, beanbag. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Still got the knife. Dog on him. Negative effect. Still got dog on him. Uh, I can get him on him. Yeah, I don't want that knife in his head. Uh, Good. All right, he's good. Somebody step on that right hand real hard. He's got a knife in each hand. Knife in each hand. Knife in each hand. Rex, low. I got left. Good on.
I'm gonna switch you. Alright. Good? You got lethal right there? Yep. I have lethal. Push it right in. Oh. Yeah. Get that knife. It's further away from you. I didn't see where the other one went. Where'd the first knife go? Oh. Where'd the, so first the first knife's up there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You need another set of cups? Yeah, we're good, Bill. We're rolling over, right? Okay. Can you guys check that and make sure nobody else Yep, is? got it. I'm with you. Good one, right? I'm good here. Here. Our country is converting to tyranny. The police are being given the power of judge, jury, and executioner. We've seen cases where the police shoot the young black man in the back while he's handcuffed for no reason. The bullet bounces back up into his heart, shooting him twice. Face down. Then, after what appears to be a struggle, a BART officer puts his knee to Grant's neck and head, and another officer steps back, draws his gun, and fires it once into Grant's back. His friends. And we see so many other cases where the police execute people. We know in the military, most people join because of family or because of patriotism and a desire to serve. But we know a minority. Criminology states about 15% get in because they legally want to kill people in a psychopathic fashion, simply to kill people. Police forces are the exact same thing. And once you get psychopaths in them, they begin recruiting others and you get a culture of psychopaths. Now, these police are either psychopaths or, and this is more common, they are so scared and taught instinctive shooting that it's all about a cult of their safety, so they will shoot first and ask questions later. You see them attacking homeless people, shooting autistic children, attacking old people, folks in wheelchairs. Just a crazed attitude of, you will do what I say, you will respect my authority. You see the dog gnawing on this guy. You see the police dog biting on him after he's been shot repeatedly. You see them stepping on him and then handcuffing him after he's clearly been killed. And finally, you see the police chief defending it saying they did a great job. Actually, if you watch the videotape, all the less than lethal devices were in fact deployed. The public knows, and everyone can watch the footage, that this is the extermination of a man who's homeless, camping behind a rock. More and more Americans are going homeless, more and more people are going bankrupt, and it is frightening to see this man and others, like in the case of Kelly Thomas, being tortured to death by police for the crime of sleeping outside at night. Help us! He's on something. Here, I got this. Even the most ignorant of us, even the most ignorant of the American people know that we're becoming an authoritarian police state, that the checks and balances are being removed. We all know North Korea is a horrible authoritarian dictatorship based on a police state. We know Mexico is. We know Nigeria is. We know Saudi Arabia is. But our government won't even criticize those regimes anymore, like Saudi Arabia, because tyranny is now the policy worldwide. Europe's converting to tyranny. England's converting to it. We're